Hey guys, it's your girl Shani again and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be doing a big chop. Yeah, you heard me, a big chop. So this is the lovely Fior Sanchez. I hope I'm pronouncing her first name right. I hope so, but let's just call her Fei Fei. Anyway, so Fei came in and she wanted a brand new start. You could also check out her YouTube channel, which is Fior Sanchez, and I will put the link in the description bar so you could go check it out. Um, so we wanted, she wanted to do a fresh start. She came in, she had like a combination of three different hairstyles and we managed to pull them all together to make her unique hairstyle perfect for her. She also came in with great attitude. We had amazing conversations. When I tell you I love my job, I love my job. I get to meet some of the most amazing people and I'm not even exaggerating or lying. Like I honestly do get to meet some wonderful people. Half of them I meet here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. But when I say I have been blessed, I have been blessed with great clients. I could hardly complain about the type of people that come into my chair. And she made it oh, way easier. Um, so yeah, so we're doing debulking. Um, so I went in with the Baby Bliss um share Babel Babelis, depending on how you pronounce it. I I say babyless, babyless, whichever. So um I went in and I just made big chunks, big chop. Even though I'm doing major debulking, you could also see that I am maintaining a particular shape because I already knew the look that I was going for. So as you can see, I kept the top a little bit heavier and I went lower on the back and on the side. So don't just go in and, you know, chop everything off or whatever without having a direction as to where you're going with the actual hairstyle. So that's why you see I'm leaving most of the volume on top because of um the overall style the look that we're going for i needed some on top and then i did you know i went lower in on the back and on the sides so now i'm going in and i'm basing her because i'm going to be doing a flash relaxer i literally had the relaxer on her hair for no more than 10 minutes with the entire application comb through process was no more than 10 minutes because her hair was already pretty soft and i didn't want to make it too light because Processing her hair for any more than the 10 minutes would have made her hair pretty light and I still wanted to have some volume and to keep some of her texture. However, the flash relaxer is perfect for taming your hair and helping it through the humidity, helping it through, you know, the warm temperature change and stuff like that that would normally have your hair kinking up and go, you know, reverse into its original um curl pattern i wanted it to be a little bit more to the straighter side if you would say a way looser wave pattern so that's why that's the reason for a flash relaxer the relaxer i chose to use on her was the design essential conditioning relaxer
Once I was done relaxing her hair, we rinsed it out with the um, corresponding neutralizing shampoo to bring her pH level back to normal. So we're going in with the cut. As I said, sides lower and I kept volume on top. So keep watching. And guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on for when I drop these bomb videos. And also tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I really love your guys' feedback and I appreciate it. I appreciate your, I appreciate your support and you guys being here with me. And like I said, don't forget to check out her YouTube channel. Also, I will be dropping the link in the description bar.
Once I got finished with the cut, I went in with the Nairobi mousse and I molded her. I also used the black wrap paper. You could get those in your local beauty supply store or you could also buy them off Amazon. I will also drop the Amazon link so you could just click the link and purchase these wraps. And um, yep, I'm creating little waves just so it could be a little stylish, nice and soft on the side to give it a little you know uniqueness to it if you would say so a little character i love it and i also I always like creating these waves even after the curls get old i feel like it falls right back into your wave so you'll still have like a right a really nice cute style without curls so that's why i always do my waves it also you know create a movement Okay, so she was under the dryer for about I want to say 50 minutes to an hour because like I said the top was a little bit heavier and her hair is still thick so we went in with the baby bliss um what is this one the gold trimmer yep the gold trimmer I also put a link from Amazon where you could purchase these it's on my Amazon link and you could purchase that I went in made some zigzag you know making the style a little bit more edgy a little bit more chic with a little bit more personality and it came out so pretty really came out pretty and i love it
Okay, so now we're going in and we're styling it and I use the pencil iron from Chateau. You could get those on shinysnaturalbeauty.com. It's the Chateau pencil iron. That's what I use to style her hair. And create some really nice wave curls. Seriously, just check out this. Check out this profile. Check out those curls. Oh, beautiful.
oh my god just look at this i don't know if you guys can see it but wait until she come like you could actually there is a thing called smize <sighs> so beautiful Ooh, child you cannot tell me look at her she was so happy i was happy we went outside, we took some great pictures, bum pictures. You could find those pictures on my Instagram. I did the before and after pictures on my Instagram, so you could go ahead and check it out over there. But we posted pictures, we went outside, we took some beautiful pictures, we did some inside as well. But the look just came out really nice overall. She was satisfied and so was I. Look at the little waves, look at the little zoom in. Ooh, yes, it's... <laughs> 